Hey guys, it's History Man over here, also known as Troy. And today I want to show you something to you guys, what I got for Christmas. Um, something different. Um, you, all, you guys know I do collect antiques, but um, this is different. Um, as you guys know, I do collect coins and old paper money and, um, and what else, newspapers and magazines. But this is quietly different. This is a mechanical machine I have right here. Um, this is a 1946, um, General Electric, I think a model 206 or 260, but I don't remember, I really don't remember, and this is a unique radio I got, and actually the radio still, it works, um, uh, which is amazing, um, I just, and, uh, the speaker grill, oh my goodness, it's, it is beautiful, I, I just like the design of the, um, of the speak of the speaker grill and that is just beautiful and the knobs here as well i think everything about the radio is just nice they don't make like this anymore they really don't so this is a beautiful radio from the 40s and um it's really nice i want to show you in the back too as well let me see if i'm breaking it i'm at my I'm not actually in my house i'm in my oh great what is that Pistachios. Um, I'm in my cousin's house. I'm not actually in my house. But it's so much better if it was in my house. So it does have a back. It does have a back. It's turned together. I probably gonna have to look at the back later on. I do not want to take this thing apart, even though I'm not gonna repair this thing because I do not know well know anything about old radios. So um. So yeah. Oh, so the reason why I have my flash on is because um, the lighting in here is so bad. So I like they have the original um, stickers here for radio tubes, and, um, and you see the inside, the back of the radio. Um, those things I think it t helps you tune it. Those things in the back, and see some radio tubes behind there. And you can tell it's just filled with dust. It is filled with the brim. There's a speaker. Yep, and it's filled with the brim of dust. I probably would want to clean this thing in the back. And the tubes are back there. There's the tubes. But it's filled to the brim of dust. Um, the seller said that he found this in his mother's attic. In his, in his parents' attic. So, you never know. This thing has been there for years and years. And... Probably was never even touched. Um, but the amazing thing that this thing works. Uh, I mean, that's the amazing part um, about this uh, radio. Um, I don't know. I don't know um, anything about radios. I don't know um, anything about antique radios. I don't know how to repair them. I don't even know how to repair old clocks for that matter. Which I'm learning from Greg. Um, shout out to him. Regular productions. I'm learning from him. I'm starting to learn old how to fix old pocket watches and stuff. So, and this is just amazing that I have this item in me. You know, this is an amazing machine uh, right here. So, this is an amazing stuff. What I got um, now it has the original cord for the um, for the radio. I'm going to show you in a sec. It has the original cord from it. You could actually tell. It's not modified in any simple way. Yeah, but I think I should clean this radio. It is filled to the brim of dust. Just in case if, it's, if it catches on fire or something. And I don't want that to happen. So, alright, let's plug this in, shall we? So, we're going to plug this in. Uh, let me see if I can do it on camera. Let's see if I can... Uh, oh, God, I have to go to the here because I've, they have so much stuff. I I can't move to the outlet. Jeez, hold on, hold on, dear viewers. Hold on, there, guys. Hold on, there, people. Okay, I didn't. It's plugged in now. I didn't actually electrocute myself because you gotta be careful when you. Plug up things you you never know you can actually electrocute yourself. So 
since this thing's a tube radio, it's gonna take a while to turn on, so we're gonna turn this thing on. Oh, it is on. Okay. There's the flashlight. And this thing is on. So, you can hear the static of the thing. I was turning down because I was sleeping. Everybody's sleeping, so. Um, but yeah. So, the. Let's tune into a station here. It takes a while to come on because since it's a tube radio, the, tube, the tubes need to warm up. I had a station here before. Um, even the the store, um, even the owner said that uh, the seller um, said the thing couldn't work because he couldn't find a station on here, which I. Uh, which I told him we could test it, and we did, and we actually find a station here. I think I hear that. It's on, viewers. It's on. I just wanna. You serious right now? I had a station here before, guys. Well, I think I heard something. Just hear a lot of static. Yeah, I hear something here, but strange returns oh, on what? the scope. Got a station, guys. For brand new Legacy Five One Bravo radar system, and so initially they thought they were ghost or clutter. Meaning the system's malfunctioning, and I was able to speak. And this to is Zan, this is AM radio guy. This is uh, scopes, and then the guy whose job, the one person on the USS Princeton whose job um, it was. This is an AM radio. Working properly, so and, they and there you the go. This is a. Put them back up, and these. This is an AM radio from the forties, and it's. And still there. They were well, after after all before, these years, after seventy-three years, it's it works. It it works. I really wish I could show you the lighting off this thing. The lighting. And they works were moving completely. In the lighting is beautiful. Around a hundred knots, so very slow, um, slower than a fixed wing aircraft. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna show you the lighting. Hi right, guys, um, this is this is what the lighting looks like. Which means direct Isn't it amazing? To try to it lights up pretty good. Objects. And that brings us to mm -hmm. the and it's amazing David that this thing works. It's 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 a really good piece of history. Of what he you know saw, what I mean? What he saw was this um, anomalous aerial vehicle. I can't believe this works. And, it and very try that. If you, if you get like a new um, in a matter of seconds, and phone, it's it really good. If you get like a new iPhone, it'll, it'll, it'll probably get it'll probably be uh, smooth with no or edges and an iPhone. Yeah, I mean, if you get like a new iPhone or if you get a new phone in general, it's probably gonna break for the next two years, and you're gonna you have to buy it again or new. Pretty much all kinds of new things, actually. You know, most new things that's made today. Is thing. pretty but much what they saw was this, exactly what you described. Yeah, I think if they're really designed to break for probably the next two years and then you have to buy a new no one, surfaces, basically, um, I don't think it's really meant to fix them. I mean, except for phones, I mean, you can find down, guys that fix phones, but my uh, I probably used to fix phones, kind of like a dog fight at this point. So, um, so yeah, a lot of modern things just break and this is amazing that this thing is from the 40s and it still works and you can actually um, fix these types of things uh, well not anymore there's not a radio repairman that's around now but um, you could actually fix these types of things and you could just try to fix these types of things and maybe you could actually uh, which is really cool I've seen a lot of people do it on YouTube which is um, people actually put Bluetooth speaker on Bluetooth speakers on these, on these things 
And that would be cool if I have a, um, if I could put a Bluetooth speaker in this thing. I mean, I'm not going to do that, but if I find, like, another, like, radio or another, if it's, or if it's broken or something, maybe I could, uh, hook up a Bluetooth speaker on the thing, which I don't know how to do electrical work. But that would be cool if you can put a Bluetooth speaker and actually put, uh, put, um, like, music from the 40s and 50s without this thing. Or listen to old radio shows like Fibber McGee and Molly or the, um, the, the Jack Benny show or, um, Sherlock Holmes and this thing. That would be really cool. Um, let's take a look at this thing when it's on in the back. I ended up put this thing on, so, uh, so yeah. So this is the thing from the back, and uh, slide up, you can see this thing is full of dust, I need to clean that. It smells like burning dust, <laughs> oh, I gotta clean it. Um, God forbid if this thing goes on fire, um, you can see that in the back right there as well in this little hole. But, um, but yeah, this is amazing that this thing works. I'm gonna, um, it's really amazing that this thing works. I mean, move this thing a bit. See it? Um, <laughs> it's really amazing. Um, let me see if I can. Go. Yeah, but I was playing with this thing a bit. I found a couple of stations um, in here. Yeah, I don't want to get copyrighted, but let's say in this station. Could be significant in the way that it impacted his uh, throwing Let's motion and his shoulder. Go to that station. I don't want to get copyrighted, but still, but you know, it's, it's well, amazing. So, all right, let's shut this thing up. This is a sports station, actually. This is amazing that this uh, um, radio works, but this is AM radio um, now. Nowadays, so um, so yeah, let's let's shut this thing up now. But yeah, it, it's amazing that this thing works, and um, yeah, it's it's just really amazing. Um, you you really gotta ant you really gotta collect antiques to experience history. I mean, it's really amazing to experience history and stuff like that. I'm actually beginning to collect 78s, which is really, really cool. Um, I'm getting a record player soon, so I can play those 78s for you guys and listen to them. Um, you know, people like um, um, Benny Goodman, I have Duke Ellington, and um, people like that. So I have a couple, a bunch of 78s that my grandpa left over. So um, I'm going to play that for you guys and um, this is a really amazing machine I mean just look at it you know and I would say just keep buying antiques and um, you can actually experience history by this way and it's really really fun and I highly suggest to you um, do it man I mean just do it go to antique stores or eBay Etsy or you know, or your nearest flea market, or somebody, if somebody's selling, a, if there's any garage sales, or estate sales, or anything, at, I highly suggest you, you should, you should go with them, and purchase whatever that's, whatever that's there that can catch your eye, or your interest, or whatever, and this is how you experience history this way, this is really how you can experience history, and I always say that, um, you know, just collect antiques because it's sad that, um, to be honest, there's not a lot of people my age that are really, really doing this. I mean, there's some people my age, like my my viewers, like, uh, or, you know, people that I talk to, like C. Porter, um, he collects 78s, and Greg, he collects, um, West Clocks clocks, and pretty much just clocks in general, and, um, he collects them and repairs them, and then, um, I think the youngest one that collects antiques was... Hayden, um, he, he collects 78s, and I think he, he also collects antique toys, um, he's like 12 or 13, so shout out to Hayden, Hayden, um, so, yeah, and that's just amazing that a, 
um, a 12-year-old 12, 12, 12 that is um, collecting this stuff. And that's just amazing. You rarely see any kids nowadays collecting, um, you know, antiques in general and stuff like that. And I bring them to public places and show people, like, this is what history is all about. You know what I mean? And when people say that history is just boring and... It's not really boring. You can do multiple things with history, like this right here. Like, this is a nice, unique piece of history. And, like, you know, it's from the 40s. It works. It works really good and well. And, you know, and stuff like that. So, it's a really amazing, um... I mentioned, now, I'm going to try to keep an original, um... Original stuff, even though there's, like, a shit ton of tubes... Um, that's, that's an eBay, um, excuse for my language, but there's, a, like, a lot of tubes, um, in eBay that they're selling, so, um, you know, uh, but still, if, I, I try to keep original what it is, it's really amazing, and, and he just, dis and decided, decided to sell it, and whatnot, so, yeah, I mean, this is, this is, a uh, this is, I mean, like I said, I, um, Keep collecting, and um, yeah, and this, this, this is what you would get. Um, I will make a, a, a another video. Um, I will make the 1920s documentary, and then later on, I'm gonna do what's my pet peeves of being, um, being a historian, a guy that likes history. Of uh, what's my pet peeves of being a historian, and what's not. So I'll, I'll make a video about that too. Um, um, you know, what's my pet peeves of being a historian? So. Um, so that's it. I'll, this is the end of this video and I'll see you guys next time.